I'm telling you, it's an exciting season. It's an exciting moment just to be in God's presence. Amen. Amen. If you read uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes uh, 7 verse 8. Please, can you give it to us? It is our last, um, our, our last day for our bad place experience. Ecclesiastes 7, 8. Put it on the screens. You can give any translation. Oh, it's not working. All right. Can somebody please uh, read for me? Whoever has it on the microphone, please read it for me. You can read any translation. Oh, thank you. Finishing is better than starting. Finishing is better than starting. In other words, this if you don't value December, if you don't put the highest gear in December, you may miss out 2023. You may miss out the entire of 2023. So December is actually a month that should be considered above all months. If you have, ne you have been praying, December is the time to pray. Leah, this month is the month when, when you should pray. If you have fasted, this should be the only month that you fast even more. If you have served, December should be the day or should be the month that you served even better. If you are a giver, December should be the greatest month that you gave it all. As a child of God. Because the end is better. Always better. That's the natural order of God. Natural way of God. Of showing humanity. How you began, it may look like something. Or it may not look anything. But how you end is what determines. Whether the year was truly for you. Or it was not for you. You know, as you are speaking right now, there are people that have given up. They have already thrown in the towel. To them, the year has ended. In fact, they are already packing up things. They are already now into 2024. They have moved from 2023. To them, 2023 is done and dusted. Please read it again. Finishing is better than starting. Patience is better than pride. If you read in King James Version, it says, thank you, Minister Faith. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Read for me Job 8 verse 7. Job 8 verse 7. Then, Mamlea, you read for me Psalm 32, verse 7. Patricia, you read First Chronicles 12, 32. We are going just to have a few scriptures. Then we are going just to end in a very awesome note. First Chronicles 12, 32. Then uh, I've given Psalm 32, verse 7. And uh, Lindsay, you read for me. Uh, already uh, Faith is reading Job. Uh, then uh, Lindsay, you read for me Esther. Esther 9. Esther chapter 9. You read for me from verse 1 until where I will tell you to stop. Then uh, Jason, you read for me Psalm 65. Psalm 65, verse 11. Sorry? First Chronicles 12, 32. Is that okay? You will read after Minister Faith. So go ahead, Minister Faith. And though you started with little, you would end with much. Read in King James Version, if you don't mind. Give it to me, King James Version. Uh huh. Job 
Job 8 verse 7. Though thy beginning was small, yet thy last Though month, thy January was small, thy February began small. Mm. Your March began small. Mm. Your April began small. Mm. What is the next statement? Yet thy latter end should greatly increase. Thy latter end should. Yes. Did you see that word? Yes, sir. So, in other words, God is expecting your December should increase. Your December should ex must expand. Your December must bring great harvest. Though your beginning of the year was little, though thy beginning was small, thy latter end should greatly increase. We are ending the year so according to the heavens. Increase should be your portion. As it, 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 it is designed that way. That as you end the year, the year should bring great increase to you. Listen to me. In this December, somebody is going to get total packages of 12 months. 12 months of waiting. God is about to release it to us. God is about to release it to you. If you believe it, can I hear your amen? Amen. You see, until you know the season you are in, you can never maximize it. Until you are aware on which season are you in, you can never maximize it. That's why December might just pass like that. So many people will use December to visit places they never visited the entire year. Others will use December to waste their lives. Others will use December, in fact, to destroy their entire year. And it will, it, it, it will trickle into their 2024. You know, December is when the enemy is out to wreck so many lives, right? The same way God is out to bless his children. <laughs> God in this month is out to ensure that his children that didn't get anything, he rewards them in this, in this, in this year. The same way. The devil is also out to harvest as many as he can. He is also out to ensure that he causes many to walk in darkness as many as he, as he can. There are people that have never tasted alcohol in this December. It will be their first time. I'm not kidding. I tested alcohol first in December. <laughs> I can vividly remember it. Because it is when everything looks like it's liberal. Everything looks like it is permissible. It is in December. Sorry to say you will see so many pregnant girls. I'm not kidding. By the time it's 2024, you will... I mean, only walls of hospitals can speak. The kind of abortions that will be been happening. May God have mercy upon our children. If you don't understand, give us, give me 1 Chronicles 12, 32. 1 Chronicles 12, 32. You need to understand which season you are in. That's, that way you will be able to, to, to milk the season of all its treasures. Yes? 1 uh, Chronicles yes. 12, 32. Yes. And of the children of Issachar, mm -hmm. which were men that had understanding mm -hmm. times. To know that Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200 and their brethren were at their commandment. When you know your season, you become a commander. When you know the season, you become a master. And all the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times... To know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. When you know what season you are in, when you know what December carries, you become a commander. You become a master. When others are wailing, you are enjoying. Listen, I said on Sunday, in this, in this month, 
there are people that will begin their 2024 with, with a lot of settlement and rest. They will begin 2024. Faith has already begun. I was asking her about a new job. And she was telling me, when I told her, I hope they are treating you well. She told me, over treating me well. Already, do you think she has an, a, a, a prayer point of, Lord 2024, don't allow me to be jobless. But it all looked like she might be jobless in December in 2024. But that is a prayer point taken. Faith, do you know there are people that will print for job? God, please, in 2020. They have stopped praying in, in December. They are looking into 2024. Already December is already wrapped for them. Please, don't wrap December together with them. There are things God promised you that he needs to fulfill in this season. Be like the children of Issachar that knew what to do, that knew what the season is, that understood what season they were in. They were in a, you were in a season whereby God is saying, you are, you, your beginning might have been small, but your latter end must surely increase. Your latter end must surely increase. That was in which scripture? The, that should be, no, Job 8, 7. Though thy beginning, though thy January, to all the way to November, it has been looking like God has been silent. Oh, I feel like I'm speaking to somebody. It looks like the entire year has been silent on you. Your prayers have not been answered. Your expectations not fulfilled. It looks small, but the latter end should greatly. It's a command. It should. It should. Say with me, my year, my December should increase. You are the one to determine what should increase. What should drop and what should increase. Ecclesiastes 3.1. Ecclesiastes 3.1. Let's read everyone. No, this is not Ecclesiastes. Let, let's read now. Everyone. To everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose. And I, give us in message Bible translation. Give us a message Bible. Go on that laptop. <laughs> so that you don't delay me. Ah, okay. Do you have it? Anybody who has it in message Bible? Or amplified or something? To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose. If you don't get it, I can get it to myself. Is there? All right, let's read everyone. There is an opportune time to do things, a right time for everything on earth. This should be your time to increase, a season to jubilate, a season to be so expectant of so much that God had promised. The Bible says in his eyes, a single day equals to how many days? A thousand. And a thousand days equals to one day. So if every day remaining of this year is a thousand days, how many thousand days do you have? So many. So many. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, like that. Give us Psalm 32 verse 7. Psalm 32 verse 7. When you are in Kwasome, when you are in Jason, but you can just on an end of polypoly with that to If that was you to read. And I said, my laptop uh, in the end of Mosmos. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Psalm 32. That should have been you. Read, yes. If it, you can see it on the screen, just know that uh, Jason uh, has done that thing. All right. Everybody. God's my island. Give us in King James Version. Give us in King James Version. 
Psalm 32, verse 7, King James Version. Read it. Okay, everybody, one, two, three. No, this is not seven. Verse seven. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass about with songs of deliverance. Selah. Do you know that word selah? What it means? Pause and think or stop and think. I was looking for this scripture. Did we read Ecclesiastes 11? 3.11? Give us Ecclesiastes 3.11. We will go back again to Psalm. Don't worry. We will go back again there. You have decided to overshoot my... I can't see anything on my screen. Oh, it's on the screen. But mine is... It, I can't see it. So please, can we read everyone? Two, one, two, three. It's not there. It's there. That is some. Oh, okay. Let me read it myself. Uh -huh. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Those tokens are going to switch, up, switch off on us. Ah, those ones are more than enough. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. God is going to make your December beautiful. Oh, better believe it. God is about to beautify somebody's December. Give us job. Uh, not job. Ecclesiastes. Um, there's a scripture I'm looking. Yes, Psalm 65, sorry. Psalm 65, verse 11. I don't have notes, so don't uh, think that I'm preaching from any note. Psalm 65. This shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Everybody, let's read. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy path drop fatness. Can you see what God does? He crownest. Which month crowneth the year? The month of of December, the twelfth month. You want your month to be crowned. Be sensitive of which month you are in. Be sensitive on it. That's why I began by saying if you are you think you have been praying, begin to pray now. You think you have been serving, begin to serve now. Don't relax. No, this is the season where many people will drop their guard. Huh? Lindsay. I have been praying the entire of the year. God will understand. He, he December to watch. You drop your guard. You relax your grip on God. That's why so, the devil takes advantage of so many. That's why so many the devil takes advantage of. In December, you will hear so many, oh my goodness, unfortunate happenings. In the lives of so many people. But it shall not be your portion. It shall not be our portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me show you something. Give us Esther 9 from verse 1. You can give us in King James Version. Esther 9 verse from verse 1. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. There's a song we used to sing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's read. Everybody. With a loud voice. Everybody. Now in the 12th month. Which month are we in? That is the month of Ada. On the 13th. Which day is today? 
Kaya balaga yagada balaga yada. Can you see how prophetic today is? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you think it's by mistake we are reading this today? Now just imagine those who, who are missing out on exactly this. Now in the 12th month, that is the month of Ada, on the 13th day of the same, Kaya Gadabala, I can stick there. When the king's command and his de decree drew near to put in execution in the day that the enemies of the Jews hoped to have power over them, though it was turned to the contrary, Kaya Galabada Gayalabada. Oh, Zata Parate Zuke Librada. Ele Satoli Grataya. Eve Latoso Zia. Eli Gratelo Zatalia. E Shitele Bragada. In this day, in this month, I decree, I declare, there's going to be an overturning. Whatever your enemies have planned, whatever your enemies have programmed to happen in your life, they are stopping. Story, their program oh, is about to be overturned back to them Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Do you see Jesus. how December is very important? On the 12th month, on the 12th day, on 13th, in the 12th month, God overturned. The agenda of evil. I decree, I declare it. Yes. God is overturning the agenda of evil. Amen. God is overturning yes. the program of evil oh, yes. in your life, in your family, yes. in your job, in your career. Amen. God is overturning Ay, the program sheta. of evil yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh my goodness. I didn't notice that until I read it. On the 12th month, on the 13th day, and today marks the 12th month, and it is the 13th day. And God is saying, I will turn, I will turn the agenda of evil. The same year in the days of Esther, it was the day they were supposed to be killed. It was the day that it was, it, it, they were meant to be executed. But God Turned to the contrary, that the Jews had rule over them that hated them. I decree you will have rule over those who hate you. Amen. You will have rule over them that are despising you. Amen. You will have rule over them that have despised you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say with me, I will rule, I will rule. in the midst of my enemies. In the midst of my enemies. Why? You prophetically connected to today. Amen. You prophetically connected to the service today. Amen. And God brought you here to show you this scripture. Yes. That on this day, the 12th month, on the 13th day, yes. that God is turning around yes. the agenda of evil. Yes. And he is saying that you will rule yes. over them that hate you. Yes. Mashakala Badagayala. Pray in the spirit just for one minute. Shake it, take it, Palagadia. A rando setelia. A rampa take a tela. A racatosa. A cabalagayagadasa. A perando socia. A lesa tole. A vecataya la paya. Concerning my life. Concerning this ministry. Concerning the families thereof. Concerning everyone connected related to me. Father, turn around. Agenda of evil, every agenda, every program that has been programmed against anyone in this service, in this church, Father, turn around the agenda of evil, and I decree, I declare, I will rule over them that hate us, we shall rule over them that are black evil against us, Isan Calabrate Zikaya, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If there's any scripture you should keep is this one. That God spoke very prophetically on this day. And this is what would happen. Next verse. Give us the next verse. I want you to see what happened. We are reading maybe all the way to verse 10. But let's see how far we can go. 
Mashatala grada, satantole grada. Verse 2. Everybody, the Jews gathered themselves together in their cities. When did they gather? The 12th month, the 13th day. They gathered together in their cities throughout the provinces of King Asaras to lay hand on such a sort their heart. In other words, they eliminated their enemies. Amen. The same month, the same day they were to be executed, uh -huh. the story was turned around yeah. and the hunter became the hunted. Oh, yeah. Shakatala Bragada. Yeah. Whatever has been chasing you, you will chase after it. Yeah. Whatever power uh -huh. that has That's been working that against you, you are about to dismantle it. Yeah. In the name of In Jesus. Jesus Kala Bragada. They went around the kingdom. They looked for them that had conspired against them. And they brought them to an end. This month, any witch that has been looking for you, oh, yes. any sorcerer that has been looking for you, oh, yes. their end has just arrived. Amen. Their end has just arrived. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. There are people that are speaking contrary to your life their words will return back to them. Oh, yes. oh those who yes. are thinking contrary to your life, they are about to swallow their own words oh, yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus name. And every arrow stretched towards anyone in this ministry, any arrow stretched towards our parents, any arrow stretched towards our children, any arrow stretched towards your job, your career, your health, that arrow reverses back to sender. It reverses back to send her in the name of Jesus. Mashakala bragadagaya. Le sheketoko paragadizeta. Next verse. Oh, are you loving the last day? Oh, jakala bragada. Verse 3. Me jeket. It's not going to verse 3, so we read it by ourselves. So Faith, would you mind helping us? Verse 3, yes. On microphone so that those who are listening online they are not kicked out as we wait for it to come verse 3 of Esther 9 uh, let's read it is here get ready with verse 4 everybody let's read and all the rulers of the provinces uh -uh, why have you skipped or oh, it has skipped it all by itself. Go back to verse 3. And all the rulers of the provinces and the lieutenants and the deputies and officers of the king helped the Jews because the fear of Mordecai fell upon them. Listen, you are about to be helped by men that are positioned in high places. You are about to be helped by men that are working in high places. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Say with me, my fear will cause men to help me. What God will do in my life will cause men to help me. Listen, the moment they saw what has been done to the enemies of the Jews, all the rulers, not some, uh -uh, not some, all the rulers, all of the provinces and the lieutenants and their deputies and officers of the king helped the Jews because of the fear. Put your name there. Have you known that God can do something in your life? that will cause kings come to ask how they can help you. How can we be of help in your life? Because we have seen what God has done in your own life. That shall be your story. Amen. That shall be your testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next verse. For Mordecai was great in the king's house. And his fame went out throughout all the provinces. For this man Mordecai waxed greater. And when did all this happen? The day he was supposed to be killed. The day he was supposed to be hanged. By, 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 what was the name of this guy that was to hang him? Amman. But the same day. 
Oh my goodness. God did something in the life of Mordecai that even the kings and the rulers and everyone in high positions began to come to the help of to help Mordecai. And the Bible says, for Mordecai was great in the king's house. When? On the 12th month, on the 13th day. The same day he was to be killed was the same day he was promoted. The same day he was to be ended. It is the same day he began. I'm here to announce to everyone, to all those of you online, I'm here to announce to you that your end will mark your beginning. Your end will be your beginning. In the name of Jesus, he was to die. But instead, Mordecai was great in the king. He used to be at the gate. Now he is in the house. He is in the house of the king. And not only great in the house, his fame went all throughout the provinces. Maybe people used to pass him. Don't worry those who have despised you throughout the year. Today was a setup for you to go back another person. For you to go back with a, with a different, different strength that will cause men to begin to glorify your God. They have mocked you and said the entire year you are being judged. What, where is your result? They are about to see it. Amen. They are about to see it. Amen. God is about to give you a result that will evangelize to your neighbors. A result that will evangelize to your relatives. A result that will evangelize to your workmates. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Calabra tesha talabra. Next verse. That is verse. Verse 5. Thus the Jews, thus the Jews smote all their enemies with the stroke of the sword and slaughter and destruction and did what they would, they would unto those that hated them. Listen to me. This month, you are about to be enemyless. Enemyless. Why? You will decide their fate. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you not seeing it? You will decide their fate. Yeah. Including your job enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Where job and career has looked like an enemy, you are about to decide what to do with it. Yeah. Oh, let's read it together. Thus the Jews smote all their enemies. When did they do this? On the 12th month, on the 13th day. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The day they were to be fired became the day they, pro they got promoted. The day they were to be dropped became the day that they were given a higher office. That is God for you. The Bible says when we were like them that dreamt. When the Lord turned the captivity. Somebody is about to say, I didn't know that companies open in December. I didn't know they employ in December. Whereby you are being employed outside office working hours. Whereby the CEOs, the owners, the directors are looking for you. Outside working time. When others are reporting on in January, they find you are the new CEO. Ah, when did they? And because they can't ask you. <laughs> they can't question you. <laughs> they just celebrate you. And just like in the days of Mordecai, they begin to ask, how can we assist you? Do you want to know your way around? <laughs> can't, just imagine with me. It is January, but your boss is no longer there. You are the boss. And all the rest of the people are wondering, where did this one come from? We were not called for board meeting. We were not told our old boss was to be dropped, but we have a new boss. When did you get employed, sir? But they can't ask because you are the boss. I decree strange miracles. Strange miracles. In this December, what did not happen throughout from January to November? In this December, I release a strange miracle to you. A miracle that will sum up 2023. A miracle that will sum up 2023. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, it is possible. 
it is possible. What didn't happen? Listen, I began by saying God is about to give total package to somebody. A package of 12 months. Oh, you thought that you prayed and it went to west. No. You thought that you fasted and it went to west. No. You thought you gave and it went to west. No. God is about to release a, a 12 month package. January will be in it. February will be in it. March will be in it. April, ah, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. It will be all in it and all wrapped by a bigger package called the 12th month. It is very possible. It is very possible. If at all you believe it, it will happen to you. I said it will happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why you need to be sensitive of December. You need to be very sensitive of December. A story is told of a, a young guy that began to work. And uh, they, needed, they wanted to test his loyalty. And uh, how he would work. And this young man was asked, yes, we want to employ you, but we will not pay you until when we feel it is time to begin. So you will be under probation until we decide when you can begin, then we pay you. We will just give you a few tips here for your bus fare, for your food and upkeep and all that. And the first month came, no pay. Second month came, no pay. Third month, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month, the young man was still working. And uh, he went to the boss and asked, Sir, I've been working, but I've never been told where, when I can be sal salaried. So I don't know what is happening, but I was just concerned since I've been here for six months. And the boss said, you never went to check your bank account. <laughs> you, you just decided, let me continue, but we have been depositing your money every month. All your bonuses are in the bank. Go check your bank. Listen to me. In this December, somebody is about to go to check their bank account. And they are about to come back smiling. Can you imagine? Six months, you have never been paid. They only give you small, small amounts. In your mind, they have never paid me anything. Listen, God is about to pay some people. In this December, a salary of 12 months is about to come to somebody. And I decree to every one of you, it will be you in Jesus' name. Next verse. And in Shushan, the palace, the Jews slew and destroyed 500 men. Can you see how the, how the Jews did, what the Jews did? Continue. Next verse. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is verse what? Go to the next one. Go to the next one. These are names. Go to the next verse. That's verse 10. Everybody. The ten sons of Ammon, the son of Amadatha, the enemy of the Jews, slew they. But on the spoil, lay they not there. Meaning, not only will your enemy be killed, but including anyone connected to his bloodline. Oh, Goliath and everyone connected to his bloodline, they were all brought down. Why? A total elimination of your enemies in this month. A total elimination of your enemies in this month. Give us Jeremiah 52. Give us Jeremiah 52. Are you being blessed? Are you being blessed? Tell somebody, be sensitive of your season. Be sensitive of your season. Tell them, maximize your December. What looks like the end should be your beginning. Don't flow by the world. To the world... Uh, <laughs> Let me use my brother is here. Now I am not. I, I I won't be gossiping him. Meshach is a, the most honest man I know. Trust me, he doesn't hide nothing. What you see, what you hear is what you get. Whether you misjudge him or you judge him, is your own cup of tea. He looked at me and told me, "Sir, 
is almost four years now. And I told him, not yet. Four years have not, con have not concluded. Where are you taking December? Where, why are you pocketing December? Yet it is the most sensitive month. December is the most sensitive month. Many people have already wrapped already 2023. It has already been dusted. It is gone. There is nothing that can happen in December. Who told you? Who told you nothing can happen in December? The same God for January is the same God for December. The same God you are waiting in, Jan in January 2024. Why can't you trust him now? Why can't you trust him now? You know some people, I don't know, they categorize God. It's like these people that are not liberal with the body of Christ. They serve Holy Communion in very small portions. If it is Jesus, give me a good portion. Stop being stingy. <laughs> why, why are you laughing like that? No, is it not so? If you are telling me this is the body of Christ and this is the blood of Christ, I want to drink more and I want to eat more of his body. So stop. Stop apportioning me something that looks like a dice. Something that looks... <laughs> Sorry? It is true wine. To me it's the blood. I will drink more. You know those days when we used to... I told you, when we used to believe in those, those religious kind of activities that this is the blood of Jesus, this is the body of Christ. One day, I just looked at myself and I said, I looked at the cup of the pastor and the bread he is eating and what they have given me and I felt cheated. <laughs> I felt very cheated. because They are drinking more of Jesus than me and eating more of his body than me. What kind of wickedness is that? <laughs> I don't know if you are like me, but that's how I think. Seriously. That's why I told you, we used to wait. When they mix everything for Sunday, we'll go, we will clear everything. And they will come and say, whoever took this body unworthily, whoever took the, the blood of Jesus, the Bible says you will die. We will shake and shake. The next Sunday they will do, we'll go and eat again. <laughs> we used to have the keys to the church. Ah, you people, you don't know some of the things you have done. Ask me, Leah. Ha. If the Peter was to be brought here, you will, you will run away from your pastor. Thank God, God will not allow it. I'm not kidding. They will prepare their communion, 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 put it very well for tomorrow. Then they go home at night. <laughs> I will not eat enough food because <laughs> I know where we are going. And you, your intent is not to eat all of it. You have to remain the body of Christ and some blood of Jesus for the other people. But somehow we will clear everything. <laughs> and listen, this is another lie about Holy Communion. They will tell you the body and the blood should not be eaten by you sinners. Hello? The body and the blood should not be eaten, or the, the blood should not be drunk and the body eaten by sinners. But the Bible says it, his body and his blood was given for sinners. So who should take Holy Communion? Sinners. <laughs> How did we get back to notes? That's why I write notes. Back to notes. Let's go back to notes. <laughs> Wickedness of religion. Yeah? You give me small portion of the body and small portion of the blood. You, you have a, a whole glass of the... <laughs> what kind of level of wickedness is that? Give us, what, what scripture did I say you give us? Jeremiah 52, 31. Let's read everybody. Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Amutal, the daughter of... Uh -uh. Which one had you given us? May God have mercy on you. Let's read everybody. And it came to pass in the 7th and 13th year 
of the captivity. Can you see the 13 has come again? Oh, this is that year. Here of the captivity of Joachim, king of Judah. In the 12th month, which month we are? In the 5th and 20th day, 25th. Christmas. Are we together? I don't know how you read your Bible, but I take note of some things. Of the month that evil Merod, Merod, eh? Merodak. Hi, this was the name of a somebody. Oh my goodness. A king called evil Merodak. King of Babylon. No wonder. King of Babylon in the first year of his reign lifted up the head of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison. This year, whatever had been in captivity is released unto you. Oh, whatever had been held bound is released to you. What kind of a name is this? Ivo Merodak. Jesus. <laughs> Listen, your enemies are about to release anything they have been holding. Any position that is yours is about to be released in the name of Jesus Christ.